Timex have been really on fire recently. They have been releasing tons of watches. It seems like they release a watch almost every week. However, there's been tons of issues with those watches. Specifically, a lot of people complain about the K1 mineral crystals that they put on their watches and also some of the movements that they use on their watches. They have upgraded some of their watches to sapphire crystals. However, those watches end up getting movements like the Miyota 8 series that don't hack and have ghost eight positions. And some of the watches they send out have all three of these issues. However, today they have announced a watch that they have upgraded that's already in their arsenal. It is the Giorgio Gali S1 Automatic, and they have made some significant changes to it. Although nothing has really changed about the watch itself, they have made some significant changes to the watch or upgrades to the watch that make this a little bit more attractive, and they have not changed the price. So originally when the Giorgio Gali S1 came out, it was a 41 millimeter watch. They are now coming out with it in 38 millimeters so they have downsized it a lot of people complained that a 41 millimeter watch for a dress watch was too big it still gets the same case that injection molded stainless steel case you're still getting a sunburst pattern dial which is gorgeous they really did a good job on these dials it has that little jewel right above the six o'clock lets you know it's a giorgio gali you get like a cut out minute track so it's not a sandwich dial it's just cut out of the dial itself looks really elegant this is a very elegant looking watch i really do like the profile of the watch you have applied indices and the indices are stick indices that are filled with loom and the hands are also filled with loom they did a really good job with the attention to detail on this watch you get a rubber strap the rubber strap is really cool as well very modern looking feels really nice on the wrist like I said, I own the original 41 millimeter with the silver dial. They are coming out with three new dials today. That is a blue dial, a black dial, and a green dial. And they all get straps to match the color of their dials. Beautiful watches, 38 millimeters. And you still get the Miyota 9039 in this watch. So it does hack. It does hand wind. There is no ghost eight position. Literally, they have paid attention to every detail here. Finally. It even gets a custom rotor. So the rotor on this 9039 is custom to the actual movement to Timex. Basically, it's their own little rotor that they put on here. So it doesn't look like a 9039 uh, when you turn it over. It actually looks a little bit different from the 9039s that we see from tons of micro brands. So this is the first time they've actually done a watch that has a decent movement with a sapphire crystal. In my opinion, this is probably the best Timex that they have come out with in a long time. They've also downsized the size of the watch to 38 millimeters, so three millimeters shaving off uh, the size of this watch, making it a little bit more wearable for smaller wrists, which I think is really good. $450, including that sapphire crystal, and they have not raised the price. The 41 millimeter will be available alongside the 38 millimeter, and they're calling this the Giorgio Gali S138. So they will be alongside each other. In the lineup, I believe they both will get sapphire crystals now, so you'll have a choice between a 41 millimeter and a 38 millimeter. I believe the 41 millimeter is only available in blue and in silver, while the 38 millimeter will be available in the three colors I just mentioned, black, blue, and the green. Really good looking watches. Uh, I really like the dials. I really love the cases. The cases are very intricate. You have sort of a uh, striation that goes all the way around the case. They're hollowed out on the sides and the lugs are completely hollowed out. Just a good looking watch, a good looking case. I really do like what they've done with this watch and I'm glad that they went down to the 38 millimeters, giving people that option. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. I am ordering one of these. I think I might order the green dial or the blue dial. I think that they look phenomenal, especially for Timex. I think this is something very special from Timex, not their typical watch. They paid a lot of attention to detail here, and I like that. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.